This is Johnny from CaptureWellbeing.com and today I'd like to talk about creating an inner chemistry of bliss. You know, why are such things as alcohol, drugs, smoking, overeating, indulging in all kinds of substances so, you know, powerful at the moment in this world? Why do people do that? It's because they're trying to reach a state of inner bliss, a state of inner, you know, feeling good, you know. And it's an unconscious way of doing that, you know, through all these things. But there is a way to accomplish this without the use of any of those substances. And for me, this is something that is very important and close to heart because when our state is in a state of bliss, when we are chemically, when, when our internal chemistry is in a state of abundance, of ease, you know, new possibilities open up for us. It's only in those states that we function as human beings at our best. Because our system is not craving for anything from the outside. It's not trying to get something to feel good. It's already in a state of feeling good, feeling awesome. And from that state, good things are created, you know. It's only from that state that you can live a wholehearted life. Because your inner chemistry affects how you think, how you feel, how you act, essentially. And only by being in a state of bliss can you fully be unentangled with anything. It creates a state of freedom. You're free to be who you are. And you don't need anything from anyone. Now, I personally am a big fan of yoga and Indian spirituality. I think it's a wonderful tool that we should all utilize to create a pathway to bliss, you know. And, I mean, you can also, for example, do sports. You can uh, use different kind of good supplements uh, that can enhance your mood and take you to a better state. But I encourage you to experiment, experiment with this, how to create a state of bliss for yourself without any harmful side effects. Because if you're someone who uses, for example, a lot of alcohol or, or indulges in overeating, those things have harmful side effects, you know. And those things are not sustainable. You can't sustain, you need more and more of that substance to get that same high that you crave for. And it's not a sustain sustainable way to live. So I highly encourage you to explore other means to reach a state of bliss and inner ecstasy. What does it mean to live a blissful life? It means to be totally at ease with yourself and with the world that you live in. You know, your mind is not all the time bombarding you with things and buzzing but it settles into its own place, you know. It becomes kind of like a background thing. It doesn't anymore control your life, you know. And I believe that this is a life that we should all live, you know, because it is a life that, you know, takes away all this anxiety, all the stress that, especially in the Western world, we experience, you know. It's full of stress, it's full of this kind of constant need to do things, this constant need to, you know, be in action. But actually, true action can only come from a state of bliss. True action can only come from a state of inner well-being. So with this message, I just want to encourage you with all my heart to take this journey on exploring how you can create a state of bliss into your life. How you can Explore a path that feels right, feels good, and takes you to a better quality life. So this message, I want to wish you a wonderful day and week, and I will see you in another video. Take care.